need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. Microsoft Project is a software program that allows you to more easily manage and coordinate the various resources needed to accomplish a project. A project is simply defined as an endeavor to create a product or accomplish a set of given goals within guidelines established by the associated resource, time, and budget constraints. Microsoft Project assists you in managing project-related resource, time, and budget data so that you can easily produce and share reports that show project information to others who may need to see that type of information. You can also easily adjust your project schedule to accommodate the inevitable changes to the project schedule that occur, more easily allowing you to complete a project that fulfills the project's desired goals on time and within budget. You may start Microsoft Project by double-clicking the Microsoft Project icon on your desktop if it appears there, or by clicking on the entry for Microsoft Office Project within the Windows Start screen. Once the application has started, you should take a moment to learn some of the basic terms and concepts that are involved in project management. As mentioned earlier, a project is defined as an endeavor to create a product or accomplish a set of specific goals within guidelines that are established by the associated resource, time, and budget constraints. The first part of this definition states that each project has a goal to accomplish. Now this goal could be a new product or perhaps even a more intangible product, such as a quantifiable amount of research performed. Regardless of the end goal of the project, each project must meet its goal to be successful. To accomplish the goal of any project, work must be performed. In Microsoft Project, these are called tasks. Each task will also require resources to be accomplished. Resources that are most often required are work resources, which include employees and other types of labor, material resources, which include materials needed to complete the task, and cost resources, which include any other costs incurred in order to complete the task. In Microsoft Project, you can create the lists of resources that you will need to complete all of the tasks within the project file. Next, the tasks that are required to complete the goal of the project must be able to be scheduled in a chronological sequence that allows you to see when the project will be completed. When you create the tasks in Microsoft Project, you assign resources that are available to complete the tasks. Once you have entered all of the tasks required to reach the goal state of the project, you will also be able to see the end date of the project. The basic project plan is then often saved as a baseline for the project. This means that it is the initial project plan. Beyond creating a baseline project plan, however, another great feature about using Microsoft Project is that it can use effort-driven scheduling when assigning resources to tasks. Therefore, if a task would take 16 hours of work to complete, and you assign one work resource or employee to the task at a given maximum of 8 hours of work per day, Microsoft Project will estimate the duration of the task to be two days. However, if you then assign an additional work resource, meaning a second employee, to the same task at a given maximum of eight hours of work per day, Microsoft Project would recalculate the duration of the task to be one day. This allows you to easily change resource assignments to tasks and then inspect the changes that the additional assignments have on the duration and cost of the project. 
You can then use this information to assist you in accomplishing the required tasks to meet the goal of the project while balancing the time constraints and cost constraints that accompany the project. The constraints on a project are simply the limitations that are placed on it. Time constraints and cost constraints are often the most pressing constraints that are placed on a project. Most projects need to be finished within a certain period of time and also within a specified budget. The scheduling engine within Microsoft Project allows you to manage these constraints by using resource assignments to change the duration and costs of the tasks that are required to complete the goal. In addition to creating and managing your project file, Microsoft Project also allows you to print and view many different lists and other aspects of your project file for the project's stakeholders. A stakeholder is simply a term used to define a party that has an interest in the outcome of the project. This could include other project supervisors, customers, or anyone else who needs to know the status of the project. Microsoft Project allows you to print the work schedule, task assignments, milestone tasks accomplished, and many other types of information that you enter into the program to perform the project management. You can also print many types of reports that can also summarize other critical project data, such as total costs or overloaded work resources within a project file. These views and reports allow you to easily update the necessary participants in the project with the information that they require. Now that you have a basic understanding of the purpose of project management and some of the terms and concepts that will be discussed, you should next examine the specifics of the user interface within Microsoft Project. Before you create a new project file, enter resources, and then assign those resources to tasks within a project file, you should first learn where the tools required to perform these tasks are located within the program's environment. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.